Um, I want to mention something about uh, some good that is that the um, that uh, uh, the Christians and Islamic uh, uh, influence of um, of rulings uh, had a good impact, and that's the ban of human sacrifices uh, in terms of the religious cultures that did it, because in in places like, for example, in the Americas, uh, even if you know liberals or uh, people in general um, condemned it for the massacres and such, um, uh, that uh, that I can kind of see. But uh, but in terms of um, the large here, though, uh, if you want to stop evil, um, one way to do it is uh, the the bad influence that one has on the culture. If one, let's say, let's say that uh, you have to do one evil to prevent further evils, then that can be justified in some ways. Um, for example, I, I, was, I saw this uh, movie in Star Wars 3. Uh, I'm not a fan of Star Wars, but I like the third movie because uh, I, I think it was a well-made story and it had a story to tell. But um, there's an argument whether, let's say you are elected in a democracy, right? Um, and... Uh, Let's say you uh, you elect someone really evil. So in Star Wars Three, the the Sith Lord was elected legally, but then the Jedi's the Jedi's came and they kind of wanted to, to put him to trial and eventually kill him because uh, he was too dangerous. So the question is, um, if someone has a danger, or someone is um, literally dangerous to rule. Um, Somehow, I can, I, you can kind of um, have this idea that maybe murder is justified to some degree if it's to prevent further evils. At least the moral equivalency of that. At least how I see it. So so in that case, I think the Christian and the, the Islamic uh, uh, values prevented that. That's uh, one good thing they did. Um, I mean, I'm not a believer in Abrahamic cultures because... Uh, I just don't agree agree with the the notion that uh, uh, that there is really no equality between uh, males or females in terms of uh, equal opportunity and such. So that's why I don't really believe or follow these relig religious cultures. But but you gotta value at least some good aspects of uh, what a culture does when something is actually evil, and that's just uh, the way I see it. Um, uh, I guess I can give a, a short su summary, at least, um, of uh, how Christians and uh, Muslims think in terms of psychology of their culture, because I found I find it interesting in terms of what I've studied. Um, um, the way that the Bible or Christianity works, I think, is uh, I mean, I have Christian background because I was born and raised in the Evangelical Lutheran Church of of Norway, but. Um, the way that uh, the Christianity works, at least um, from what I know, is uh, it kind of follows a dictator logic. Uh, if you read the Bible of dictating um, what you can or cannot do, um, uh, basically it has more of a dictator way of thinking or feeling about certain things. Um, that's the best way I can uh, describe Christianity uh, in very loose terms. Um, and then you have uh, the Islamic texts. I have read the Quran, and uh, uh, I mean, I may, I mostly studied hadiths and uh, s those texts, really, at least one to six. I am on Tafsir now, though, um, so I'll probably do audiobooks. Uh, not, not. Um, I'll probably do audiobooks. Not um, uh, probably not too long till I'm gonna continue that. At least Ibn Kafir Tafsir, and after that, I don't think I'm gonna do more tough, more Islamic audiobooks because I think those are the important ones that I want to cover. But uh, basically, um, to sum up, uh, what Islamic texts uh, want you to feel and think like in terms of the psychology is um, it operates on uh, uh, dominance. So let's say um, uh, you want to see you you kind of have this. Uh, Feeling dominated and dominating, and that's sort of what the Islamic uh, texts, uh, uh, in a sense, wants the reader to feel like. At least the Sunni 
Sunni culture because uh, I'm I I'm, I'm really studied the Shiites, so I can't really comment on those. But at least the Sunni, which uh, most Muslims are Sunni either way, like eighty five percent of uh, Muslims are Sunni. But but yeah, in terms of the psychology of the cultures, it's interesting to learn about uh, those. So, um, but yeah, uh, thank you for listening to this video and bye.